A minimum wage bill is heading to the governor's desk, but the contents of it have opponents crying foul tonight, saying the GOP lame duck legislature gutted the proposal. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel live in Southfield tonight. Brian, I understand there are major changes from this bill, which was just passed a couple of months ago. Yeah, you might remember the original raise the minimum wage movement. It uh, gave it over 300,000 signatures back in September. It survived multiple legal battles, ultimately adopted by the legislature, and therefore it wasn't on the ballot. Then adopted by lawmakers, amended into what it was passed today. And the original people behind the proposal, they now say that it looks nothing like what the people of Michigan wanted. Tonight, lawmakers in Lansing sending a bill to Governor Snyder's desk that would raise the minimum wage in Michigan to $12.05 an hour. But instead of 2022, it'll raise incrementally until 2030. And instead of tip workers making that full 12 bucks, they'll only end up with $4 an hour. The restaurant association supporting the change argued if tip workers are making the full minimum wage, tips would fall drastically. Not only does the tip culture suffer when the tip minimum wage increases drastically or is completely phased out, employment opportunities suffer as well. There is no law that says that when you go into a restaurant, that you have to go ahead and tip your waitress. Tracy Pease is a three decades long waitress and advocate who's appalled with the tweaks made by lawmakers. Dirty politics, you can call it dirty politics. I want to go ahead and I want to call it heartless. But some small business owners say the legislation could not only hurt their bottom line, but have unintended consequences also. It's going to be very, very difficult to hire a 15, 16, 17 year old kid who doesn't frankly really know how to do much at a wage that's the same that we're paying to a more to a, a mature person. In the end, raise the wage advocates like peace say the tactics in lame duck amount to silencing the will of the people and the governor should therefore veto. Governor Snyder, you already have an iffy legacy. You don't want this to be the last thing that you do. Now, also set to the governor's de desk, an amended bill dealing with paid sick leave for employees. Now, Peace, she says instead of what's been sent to the governor, she'd rather start over, get that original proposal on another ballot. Reporting live, Ryan Abel, 7 Action News.